The purpose of a wire stripper is to remove the outer conductor from a wire and expose the inner conducting uh, wire strands for the purpose of crimping a pin or soldering. And the first thing that we need to know about the wire we're working with is the gauge of wire. Now this particular wire, uh, in all cases in aircraft scenarios, we work with mill wire 22759 slash 16, that means 16 strands uh, make up this conductor. Uh, the next number you see is 22, which is the gauge of this wire, and that will help us when we look at the dies in the strip tool, we'll actually see that they're labeled according to wire size. And the last number in the mil spec part number for the wire is a 9, meaning this is white wire. You'll see this is a 100 foot spool, and this particular spool came from Genuine Aircraft Hardware. There are a number of vendors for this. Now, we'll go ahead and use this cheaper strip tool first. I look at the die, and I identify that 20 is right here. It's the last. Uh, opening in, in the jaws and so I place the wire in there at the length that I want cut off I squeeze and hold it and just very crudely kind of uh, rip off the insulation for lack of a better terminology and that's what we'll end up with now what's very important is you see that as I mentioned this is 16 strand wire inside and each one of those is very fragile so when we strip wires uh, until you really get the feel for this what you want to do is uh, just practice go ahead and come back and strip the wire again just a little bit further then examine very closely at the location of the first strip and look for strands that you may have nicked and in this case we can see we must have had a pretty good um, strip because none of the strands are broken so just go ahead and cut that off with some diagonal cutters so that's our first tool um, both of these tools work in the same fashion I'll illustrate the nice tool first uh, we put the wire in um, notice I'm putting it in to uh, make sure you get in the die for 22 gauge wire and you simply, as you squeeze on this, um, the left side of the tool will grip the conductor. And again, this is a really nice uh, gripping surface. It doesn't damage the insulation. And the right half of the tool, the blades come down in, in a guillotine fashion. So we have those two actions. Then when everything's good and tight, we just keep squeezing. It pulls it away. Now you heard a click, and that means... As I let go of the tool just ever so slightly, it releases the wire and holds the jaw open while I move it out of the way. Then it will snap shut and uh, be ready for another cycle. And, and often the, the insulation when it snaps shut would fly, um, fly out of the way so that you're ready for the next wire strip. Um, we'll cut this off and demonstrate the cheaper tool very quickly same same fashion uh, notice the the gripping jaws on this one are more of a serrated jaw and also notice that the jaws don't line up as well again this is a cheaper tool and uh, you get what you pay for so we're going to line this up same action with the tool and again, looks like we have a decent wire strip. Now with the cheaper tools like, like this one, and with this tool, you'll have to be a little more conscious about practicing and knowing your tool to know that you do not get nicked strands. But with a tool like this one where you've got the dies, you can pretty much rest assured that you're not going to have any problem like that.
Now if you look, you may not be able to see in the video, but um, you see how this wire is a little damaged here, this insulation has a little damage. That occurred during the use of this tool. And that's one of the added benefits of using the more expensive um, type of tool. This is made by, manufactured by Ideal. It's called the uh, Ideal Ergo Elite. And they also have one called the Custom Strip Master. And they have one called just a Strip Master, which this is more of uh, along the lines of what a Strip Master is. Uh, this tool in this form equipped with this type of precision die would be called the Custom Strip Master. And again, that's about a $200 tool. And then this particular one here, um, just slightly more than 200.